Welcome to Caldwell Conversations. I'm April Hedman, Enrollment Director here at Caldwell Academy, and I am here with Seth Anderson, who uh, graduated from Caldwell, is a parent of a student, and has been invo involved with the Board of Directors. Um, all of those different roles and aspects of your experience, what is it about Caldwell that keeps you engaged? The biggest thing for us has been the Christ-centered approach, and I think that in our experience with Caldwell from um, our time as students, my wife and I, uh -huh. and uh, with our son who's in sixth grade and my service on the board has been, Christ-like has not looked like perfection. It has yeah. not looked like um, the perfect, um, you know, if you were trying to invent something that Jesus um, centric, like it has been real. And yeah. I think that there's been humility um, that we've experienced from our teachers and the administration and a real willingness to partner. Mm -hmm. um, as we know, we're not perfect and our kids not perfect. Mm -hmm. um, and the mm -hmm. teachers' willingness to admit um, their imperfections has made a really strong partnership mm -hmm. where we have seen genuine Christ-like mm -hmm. um, behavior and attitudes. And that has been really, really important for us. Mm -hmm. That is a really great vision that you just cast there. It's really true. Um, so thinking about like all of those um, opportunities for, for Caldwell to be uh, formative mm -hmm. different ways. How has it impacted you and Katie and, and your family? Yeah, I think it's something where I've heard the phrase around here a million times, the notion of we really want to graduate lifelong learners. Mm -hmm. And I think that that was probably true of me at age 18, but if you look at Caldwell's portrait of a graduate, who do we want Caldwell graduates to be? Mm -hmm. um, I think that I look closer to that now than I did at age oh, 18. Yeah, that makes sense. And that it's something where the foundation that I had here mm -hmm. set me up to become more and mm -hmm. more. Ultimately, you look at that portrait, it's to, that our students would become Christ-like. Yeah. But I think that for me, that growth has occurred over time mm -hmm. without the foundation I had here. Mm -hmm. and. A, a reason for us to have our son here yeah. um, has been something that's been critical for us to think about the future. Yeah, so good. Um, describe a little bit about the Board of Directors. You know, some people might not know, what does the Board of Directors do for Caldwell? Um, how would you portray that? Yeah, I think when Caldwell first started, it was very small and very scrappy. Um, I had six people in my graduating class. It was very, very tidy. Um, the board was very heavily involved in the day-to-day -day operations. Uh -huh. um, over the past 25 years, it has transitioned into being a fully strategic board. Mm -hmm. And um, when we are in board meetings, we are thinking about the future of Caldwell, mm -hmm. our mission, how mm -hmm. it's being delivered, um, mm -hmm. and really ensuring that the people that do the work in the day-to-day -day yeah. have the resources that they need to do a great job. Mm. One of the things I've been super impressed by are the committees of the board, which are um, parents and other community members um, from a wide variety. It is um, something where our finance committee, for example, um, some really truly brilliant people who have partnered with our um, administrative staff. Mm -hmm. um, recent example, um, building the financial model that would help make the board make the strategic decision, um, go, no go on the expansion for our Eagle Zone and TK yes. um, programs. That's so example. that's mm -hmm. an example of where like that is a strategic vote by the board mm -hmm. to proceed with that. Right. Um, but the broader community and partnership with the school really creating an impact on how those decisions are made. Kind of the details, working out the plans, yes. bringing that to the board so the board can say, does this fit? Right. Uh, with our overall long-term view for this school. Right, and yeah. so we're not involved directly in the mm -hmm. operations, um, mm -hmm. but we need that input from folks in the community in order to make good, sound strategic decisions. Mm -hmm. um, when you think about Caldwell's future, what comes to mind um, about something that's exciting to you? I really love how um, much of an emphasis is being put on spiritual development. Mm. And it's something yeah. to where Caldwell, it's directly in the mission to assist parents from a biblical perspective. And it's something that I think um, a focus on knowledge of the Bible, my son is in sixth grade mm -hmm. and we really have appreciated the foundation that he's had there um, pairing with what we're doing at home and what's mm -hmm. happening at church um, that's really shaping his point of view. Mm -hmm. And it's something to where I feel like I love the questions as he's entering into the dialectic realm, <laughs> right. the pushback, the sort of yeah. natural yes. uh, you know, progression yes. of his thinking uh -huh. um, and the questioning of things. And 
Um, and it's not in any way questioning the, his faith or scripture or any of that type of stuff, but you can tell there's critical thought yeah, that's being had there. Yeah. And so I think that that's something as we look at the expansion of those things in our dialectic and our rhetoric school yeah. um, that mm. I'm really excited to see where mm. that goes. Same, yeah. Seth, thank you for talking with me. Yeah. Uh, appreciate you and your family and um, everything that you uh, bring to the school. Um, appreciate you very much. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. If you'd like to learn more about Caldwell, what we offer, I would welcome an opportunity to meet you. If you'd like to email me or call our front desk and schedule a time to meet or to ask questions, I would be glad to do that.